A lot of women who are trying to conceive turn to ovulation prediction kits to help them know when they're ovulating and thus time intercourse with ovulation and increase their chances of success. Studies have shown that women will actually have the same amount of success at getting pregnant if they just have sex at regular intervals during their cycle. Ovulation prediction kits don't necessarily help to increase your chances, but they are helpful if you or your partner work out of town or you have children and very hectic schedules and, and just need a very short window so that you know when your window of opportunity is. Or perhaps you have irregular cycles and you're trying to help to peg down your most fertile window. Ovulation prediction kits work by detecting a surge in LH hormone, which happens around the time of ovulation, usually one to two days prior. Now you always have a little bit of LH hormone in your blood, but it increases by two to five times around the time of ovulation. A lot of women wonder about a faint line or a dark line, and do they mean the same thing? How do they interpret the results? And Really, all that means, if there's a line at all, is that there's a positive result and the test has detected a surge in LH hormone. And as mentioned earlier, this surge can be two to five times the norm, so it could just be on the lower end if you have a faint line. It could be on the higher end if you have a dark line. In essence, you don't have to worry about how dark the line is. Just know that if there's a line at all, it's positive and you should have sex in order to increase your chances of conceiving a baby. Ovulation prediction kits only give you a window of opportunity. Ovulation isn't a perfect science, and when you see a positive result, it means that any time in the next 12 to 36 hours, you could ovulate. So this is the time you want to increase your chances by having intercourse. Hopefully it's comforting to you to know that it takes most couples up to six months on average to conceive a baby. So if you've only been trying for a month or two, that's okay, that's pretty normal. And it's not necessary for you to start using ovulation prediction kits yet. But if several months have gone by and you haven't had any success, then they could be helpful because perhaps your body is ovulating a little bit earlier or a little bit later than the norm and that can help you pinpoint what your body is doing. Good luck with everything and if you have more questions for me in the future, please feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.